Morning, everyone. My name is Walid Tawfiq. I am orthopedic surgeon in Newville District Hospital in UK. This is another episode of problem solving practice for FRCS exam, adult pathology section. Just as a reminder, how to get the maximum benefit from this video? At least two candidates should be practicing to give feedback to each other. See the image or listen to the scenario. Pause the video. After each question, answer the question, try to start broad. Don't dedicate yourself to a diagnosis. Use the algorithms used in previous videos. The next question will provide you with more information to direct you to the diagnosis and treatment for this specific case. The feedback should be written to simulate the exam feedback as possible. Just a reminder, it's about the process that solve a problem. Final answer doesn't matter too much. This is something different from surgeon to surgeon. Let's go. Case one. 28 years old man was running after a car, jumped over a wall, approximately eight centimeter height, sideways, landed on his left leg. He buckled under weight and patient fell down, unable to bear weight after that for a few hours before the ambulance arrived. He denies any hitting of head or sustaining other injuries. He has been out drinking today, but yesterday he admitted taking cocaine. Describe what you see. What are the important points in history you need to know? How to examine this patient? In examination, you found unequal docellus beads pulse and foot drop. What is your immediate actions? You managed to reduce the knee and you felt a clunk. What are further steps you will need to do? What are guidelines you will follow for managing this patient? Remember, you are working in a DGH. Treatment received, had a reduction in ED, immobilized, re-examined and the documentation, CT angioflora limbs, vascular contacted, regional major trauma center, had advice, MRI scan done, patient had a transfer for multi-ligament knee reconstruction. Case two. Twenty-four years old lady had ED presentation, knee give way with no trauma, feeling a clicky, occasional looking since one week. Describe what you see. In general, what are the causes of what you see in this videograph? What are the important points in history you need to know? How to examine this patient? What are further investigations you will need? She had an MRI scan, that is, what is general treatment principles and what are the guidelines? Use the OCD algorithm, that's her MRI scan. Describe the basic science behind microfracture and how to do it. What is the post-operative rehabilitation protocol? Treatment received, removal of the loose body, microfracture of the OCD. Case three. Twenty seventeen years old, had a painful injury, a painful knee after a football injury. He felt as his knee dislocated. Describe what you see. What are the differential diagnoses for acute painful swollen knee in sport injuries? What are the important points in history you need to know? How to examine this patient? What is your ED management? You found he has a locked knee. What are further investigation you will need? He had an MRI scan. How to counsel this patient? His MRI scan show isolated flap tear of his lateral meniscus. 
What is the parameters for decision making to repair versus excise a meniscal tear? What are the guidelines you will follow for managing this patient? What is the time frame to do his surgery? Remember, he had a locked knee. Treatment received. Lateral meniscal repair with fast fix within two weeks of his injury. Case four. Twenty-one years old female. She had a right. She described that her right knee given give way a number of occasions. Physiotherapy advice on phone. Possible patella dislocation. Last episode one week ago. Her knee cannot be fully extended since then. Describe what you see. What are the important points in history you need to know? How to examine this patient? What are further investigations you will need? What is your diagnosis looking at this MRI scan? What do you call this sign? The radiologist advised that she had an ACL injury that looks like long-standing and the bucket handle tear of her medial meniscus. What are the treatment options for this case? And what are the guidelines? Treatment received. She had a reconstruction of ACL, repair of her medial meniscus with fast fix. That was in, done in one surgical occasion. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Walid Tawfiq. I am orthopedic surgeon in Newville District Hospital. Today, another episode of problem solving practice for FRCS trauma and ortho adult pathology section. As a reminder, how to get the maximum benefit from this video. At least two candidates should be practicing to give feedback to each other. See the image or listen to the scenario. Pause the video after each question. Answer the question. Try to start a board. Use the algorithm used in previous videos. The next question will provide you with more information to direct you to the diagnosis and treatment for this specific case. The feedback should be written to simulate the exam feedback as possible. Let's go. Case one. 22 years old, keen footballer, fell during a tackle, attended to ED, isolated injury. Describe what you see. What are the important points in history you need to know? How to examine this patient? How to reduce that dislocation in ED? What is the post-reduction protocol? What are further investigations you might need? How to counsel this patient as regards the operative versus non-operative treatment? What are the guidelines you follow for managing this patient? Treatment received. ED management done first. As this patient had a recurrent dislocation, he had an arthroscopic bunker to repair. Case two. Is old speak little English. Head on collision, RTC, passenger seat, isolated injury. 
She had a numbness in the axillary nerve distribution. Describe what you see. What are the important points in history you need to know? How to examine this patient? You did a trial of reduction in ED, but you didn't manage to do that. What's the next step? You took the patient to theater. You managed to reduce it. What is the post-operative follow-up plan? What are the guidelines you follow for managing this patient axillary nerve injury? Treatment received. Patient had reduction in theater. Stability confirmed under II. She had a follow-up for three weeks with weekly X-ray on arrival doesn't show any displacement of the two positive fragment. Her axillary nerve symptom resolved after six weeks. Case three. 94 retired secondary school teacher. She is still driving, independent. She had a slip in the bathroom. She had no post-medical history. Describe what you see. What are the important points in history you need to know? How to examine this patient? Trial of reduction in ED fail under appropriate analgesia with safe environment. You managed to do, do that in theater. However, the patient had a re-dislocation and recovery. What should be the next step? You get a CT scan. What is your treatment plan then? Treatment received. Patient had an open stabilization of the tuberosity fragment and repair of the cuff. Case four. 75 years old, the keen runner. He had a fall tw more than 24 hours ago on his left shoulder. ED trial of reduction failed. Had a background of hypertension on a single medication. Describe what you see. What are the important points in history you need to know? How to examine this patient? You managed to reduce in theater. However, patient had a re-dislocation while he's ready to go home. What would you do? You had this CT scan and you discussed with one of your upper limb colleagues. Describe what you see and what's the treatment plan? Treatment received. Patient had another episode for theater, had MUA, closed reduction achieved, very unstable shoulder. He had an arthroscopic assessment which show extensive rotator cuff tear. He had an open cuff repair, remplissage procedure to fill the Hills axe lesion. Shoulder is still stable one year post-operative. Patient is happy. Case five. 44 years old man, keen glider, had a fallen outstretched hand. He's a smoker, no other post medical history. He had a reduction done in ED. First, a clinic visit a week later. Shoulder is still reduced, but unable to move the shoulder actively. Describe what you see. What is your concern? What are the important points in history you need to know? How to examine this patient? What are further investigations you will need? You decided to get ultrasound scan. The sonographer wasn't sure about the rotator cuff injury. What is your next investigation of a choice? What is the time frame to get that? Patient had an urgent MRI scan. The MRI scan sh as shown in picture. What is your treatment plan? What's your concerns? given the MRI scan appearance. Treatment received. Patient had an open rotator cuff repair through a McKenzie approach and had a subacoral decompression. Thank you. Hi, good morning, everyone. 
This is another episode of problem solving practice for FRCS trauma and OS exam adult pathology section. My name is Walid Tawfiq. Just a reminder how to get the maximum benefit from this video. At least two candidates should be practicing to give a feedback to each other. See the image or listen to the scenario. Pause the video after each question. Answer the question loudly. Try to start broad. Use the algorithm used in the previous videos. The next question will provide you with them some more information to direct you to the diagnosis and treatment for this specific case. The feedback should be written to simulate the exam feedback as much as possible. Let's go. Case 1. 77 years old man, previously fit independent, presenting with worsening low back pain and reduced mobility. Describe what you see. What is your differential diagnosis? What are important points in history? How to examine this patient? What are the further for work up? Tell me more about myeloma screen. Suppose myeloma screen had diagnosed and with mild myeloma. Patient had weakness three out of five in both lower limbs. What is the initial and definitive treatment? What are the parameters for decision-making and what options are available? Treatment received. Patient received radio and chemotherapy. Symptoms improved and abnormal neurology resolved. Case two. 77 man referred to orthopedic clinic with left groin and thigh pain. Describe what you see. What is your differential diagnosis? How to assist this patient clinically? How to assist this patient risk for fracture in his left femur? What are the guidelines you will follow in treating this patient? He is known to have a, a multiple myeloma. What are the treatment options? Case three. 66 years old man, presented with right hip pain. Describe what you see. What are the important points in history you need to know? This patient had history of lung cancer. What's further imaging you need to obtain? He has a known brain and subcutaneous metastasis. How does that change your management? From history, he has functional pain what is the guidelines for managing this patient and what are the treatment options? Treatment received. Fixation. Case four. Sixth six has a bilateral hip resurfacing eight years ago. Came from routine check. Describe what you see. What are the important points in history you need to know? How to examine this patient? If this patient had a hip pain, what are the differential diagnosis? What are further investigations you need to? If you aspirate the hip, what lab test you will ask for? What are the guidelines you follow for managing this patient? And if we choose revision surgery, what are the basic principles? Case five. 
81 years old left total hip replacement in German 2007. Now struggle with weight bearing. Describe what you see. What are the important points in history you need to know? How to examine this patient? What are further investigations you will need? What are you looking for? What are the treatment options? Suppose the patient choose to go for operative treatment, infection excluded. What are the challenges and the operative treatment, pre-operative planning? That is the treatment received. She had a revision for post stimulant cup with antiprotusium cup. Case six. 27 years old man, football injury. You see him in the emergency department. Describe what you see. What are the important points in history you need to know? How to examine this patient? What further investigation you will need? And what are you looking for? His MRI scan came back with partial injury for the MCL, ACL complete tear. What's your plan? Suppose the patient had a bucket handle tear of the medial meniscus with a locked knee. How is that going to change your treatment? What are the principles of ACL reconstruction surgery? That is the treatment received. MCL managed conservatively in a hinging trace. ACL trial of non-operative treatment for ACL directed physiotherapy. Then failure of this treatment led to reconstruction. If the patient had a medial meniscal pocket handle tear with a locked knee, this is a semi-urgent operation. He will need a tear repair, then we have the knee, and then the decision to be made for reconstruction of the ACL later. Hi, my name is Walid Tawfiq. I am orthopedic surgeon in Yeovil District Hospital in UK. This is another episode of problem solving practice for FRCS trauma and ORS. This is adult pathology section. How to get the maximum benefit from this video? At least two candidates should be practicing to give feedback to each other. See the image or listen to the scenario. Pause the video after each question, answer the question, try to start broad. Use the algorithm used in previous videos. The next question will provide you with more information to direct you to diagnosis, treatment for this specific case. The feedback should be written to simulate the exam feedback as possible. The final treatment is not as important as the thought process itself and write algorithm. Try to practice that. Let's go. Case one, 33 years old man, full of cross motor pike, landed on his left shoulder six hours ago. No gross deformity. He's tender all around with minimal movement. Describe what you see. What are the important points in history you need to know? How to examine this patient? What is your next step? How to follow up this patient? Treatment received. Patient had manipulation under GA in theater on the same day. Fractured managed conservatively, completely healed three months post injury. This is the radiographs. Case 2, 44 years old man, full of home, his bike, when a stationary car pulled in front of him suddenly, he landed on his left shoulder. 
isolated injury to the left shoulder. E denotes no deformity, tender mid shaft left humerus. The patient resists any movement. The impression of soft tissue injury has safe netting. Describe what you see. What is your diagnosis? What do you expect from examination findings? Patient returned next day as he felt that his shoulder is not right. What investigation to, inform, to confirm your diagnosis? You get another X-ray. You had a CT with 3D reconstruction. You confirm your diagnosis as a posterior dislocation. What would you do now? You decided to take the patient to theater. You have achieved the reduction. The reduction is stable. You put him in a normal arm sling. While in recovery, the patient felt that his shoulder is not right again. What would you do? That's your intraoperative reduction image. Describe the technique of closed reduction of posterior dislocation. What kind of sling you would use for immobilization? How to do an open reduction? Treatment received. The patient had the next day morning MUA. It was a stable in external rotation. Had been immobilized in external rotation splint for six weeks. Check radiograph weekly for the next first two weeks. He achieved complete healing with no instability. He had an MRA, which show a reverse heel zax with no other pathologies. In general, what are the treatment options for symptomatic heel zax lesion? Case three, 75 years old man, have a seizure three weeks ago. He dislocated his shoulder and reduced in a sling he missed his follow-up in another hospital. While he was rehabilitation phase three weeks ago, he continues had a shoulder pain with poor mobility and pain. Community hospital got an X-ray and contacted you. Describe what you see. What are the treatment most important points in history you need to know? How to examine this patient? What are further investigation you will need? The patient refused to have a non-operative treatment. What is your pre-operative workup? What other specialty or specialties you need to involve? What are the surgical treatment options? Treatment received. Discussion with neurologist, workup done and seizure controlled. Open reduction through a deltopectoral approach, modified McLaughlin procedure, external rotation splint for three weeks. Thank you.